Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully having a great day. So I owe you guys a little update, I guess, why I haven't been posting videos for the past week. Um, as most of you guys know, I've been in Cuba. Um, I did have Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi was super, super spotty. I was only able to get on for about a minute or two every couple of days. It was absolutely awful, so I wasn't able to post anything on uh, YouTube because with the weak Wi-Fi and the spotty Wi-Fi, it would take me a couple of days to upload one video, so I didn't do any of that. But I did film. I have four fishing excursions that I have filmed. Um, I'll start editing those very, very soon. You guys will see the first Cuba video, episode one, right after this video. Uh, today I'm going to the sportsman show, uh, Toronto sportsman show. It's a fishing, hunting, outdoors kind of show. I heard, I've heard from a bunch of people that this show is actually a lot better than the fishing and boat show that I went to last month. Um, speaking about the fishing and boat show, I want to show you guys something. At the fishing and boat show, I entered a mega bass contest where um, I just posted a photo on Instagram. It was like a contest for, to win a couple baits and a couple stuff. This is what I got here. I already opened the packet just because I got it before Cuba and I actually already used one of the products. You guys will see in a second. But I figured you guys would want to see it just because it's mega bass. So I'll show you guys what we got here. So we got ourselves a hat. Uh, this is actually what I brought to Cuba with me. Um, pretty nice hat to snap back. I don't wear snapbacks, so I bent the lid a little bit so you guys can see right there. Pretty cool hat. Uh, then we got ourselves a bunch of baits. It's just a tag for the hat. Uh, we got ourselves the Mega Bass Meg Slow. Now this is a swim bait right here, as you guys can see. It's four inches long, and it weighs seven eighths of an ounce. This is in oh, it's, it says right there. It's called Blue Shad, right? It's a pretty cool bait. I haven't heard of these baits before. But they're called Mag Slow L, so I'm guessing that they have a slow kind of finesse swim bait kind of action. Again, I don't fish swim baits, so um, this will definitely help me get into the swim bait game. Pretty cool bait. That was something, that's something that I definitely would not have bought for myself. I'm not sure how much they cost in Tackle Warehouse, but they can't be too cheap. But um, next up, we got ourselves the Mega Bass. Bait of Champions, um, this is called the Snack or the Lunker Lunchbox. It's a little tiny little uh, tackle box you guys can see right there. I'm probably going to use it to keep all my Mega Bass Vision 110s and Vision 110 Plus 1s in there. It's a really, really small box you guys can see. And then inside, we got ourselves two more Mega Bass Vision 110s. As you guys remember, I went to the uh, fishing and boat show last month just to pick up two of these. These are the limited edition Canadian colorway. Uh, they're called Northern Secret. I got the 110 and the 110 Plus. Um, so I got two of them now, two of each, which is pretty sweet. These are super cool looking baits, as you guys can see right there. I've never fished a Vision 110 before, so I can't wait to uh, start, I guess. I've heard great things about them. So uh, that's what I got from Mega Bass. I figured you guys would want to see it because it's Mega Bass and all that stuff. But um, I'm going to the Sportsman Show right now. I'm running a little bit late. I still got to eat breakfast. But um, I'm going to try to get a vlog out for you guys of the show. I've heard it's amazing. So we will see, and I'll see you guys, I guess, when we get there. Alright guys, so I just got into the natural sports booth here at the Toronto Sportsman Show and I met Scott right here. He's going to say a couple things to the camera for you guys. Um, it's really, really busy here. It's extremely busy compared to the uh, fishing and boat show that I went to last month. So I'm not sure how filming's going to go here. But I'll let Scott take over for a little bit. Hey guys, Scott McGill here. You can find me on Scott McGill Outdoors on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube. I'm going to quickly talk to you guys about one of the best scents on the fishing market. We're talking about BioEdge. These are the BioEdge wands. The best thing about a wand is it's not a spray bottle. It's not getting all over your boat. We're not wasting it in the wind. And the guy in the back of the boat's not choking on it. Take one of these wands. It's basically a glue stick. We can rub it on our baits. It hides our scents and the fish love it. 
make sure you guys find some. You can find it here at JB's, Pro J's, Natural Sports, and pretty much everywhere else. So what makes BioEdge different from the other scents out there? So one of the most important things for me is BioEdge is an oil-based scent. If it's a water-based scent, it's going to hit the water and it's going to be gone pretty quick. Oil-based is a lot slower release. It stays on the bait longer. You keep it in the area that you're fishing a lot longer. And the other thing is, is these guys have a selection that runs everywhere from white worms to leeches to gobies to shiners, herrings. There's something for everybody, including saltwater stuff too. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. spin bait I'll show you guys later. I also went to the uh, Perfect Jigs booth, picked up some of their new products that they had. I'm walking around right now and I came up to the Shimano booth right here. So I'm going to get Bob to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the cool products at Shimano. Hi, Bob Mahoney from Shimano Canada here at the Toronto Sportsman Show. Just going to show you a couple new products we have coming out. They actually they are out. The new Cronark MGL, reinforced carbon fiber frame, micro module gearing, giving you ultimate smoothness. SVS Infinity Braking, which we're famous for, for those big long casts to get to the big ones. Check it out at your local retailer. Also debuting is the new Jackal Chanwick wake bait. Picture this bait being thrown in the water and throwing so much water behind it, no fish can resist it. Very noisy, as you can hear. Um, some great colors in it as well. And uh, sure to call up the big ones to come and bite it as I hook myself. <laughs> right now. It's Spiro right here. He's going to say a couple hey, words everybody. to you guys. But I just started walking around a little bit more, hit a couple of booths, bought a couple of stuff from Poland actually. But I'll get Spiro to talk to you guys a little bit about the FLW uh, series I guess. Okay. Well FLW Canada is live in a while. And uh, one of the biggest things with FLW is that it doesn't matter what level of fishing you can come out and fish with us, have a great time. We have three awesome events. We got Big Rito, we got Bay Queen, and we got Sturgeon Lake. Visit us at flw.ca. Awesome. All right, guys, we just stopped by the Daiwa booth, and they have a brand new reel coming out for the Bassmaster Classic this year. It's the Daiwa Tatula with a new SV school. I'll show you guys right here. It's pretty cool looking, in my opinion. Pretty sweet reel. We have another one coming out as well, too, right? Just not in the booth right now. But that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go head out uh, to another booth right after this. outside. Yesterday it's 30 degrees Celsius in Cuba and today it's freezing and snowing so it's a huge temperature change for me. But I'm back as you guys can see I'm back in the car. Overall it's a pretty great show. So you guys saw at the very end I went to the Facts of Fishing um, a little section that he had with this truck and all that stuff trying to find Dave Mercer. He's a huge inspiration to me. Um, I really really want to meet him but I just missed him. He left. He was only there for, here for a couple of hours unfortunately. But next time I will meet him. I really really want to meet him. Apparently he's a great guy. But overall it was a pretty great show. It was super super busy compared to the last show I went to. Really hard to walk. Um, I kind of suck at filming these uh, these shows. I've realized you know I find it really hard when I'm walking and talking with someone or talking to someone new and getting to know someone to bring out the camera and incorporate the camera into the conversation. It's just really, really busy for me at these shows, so hopefully this video isn't too bad, too uh, choppy or anything like that. But I met a lot of new people, networked a little bit, met a lot of you guys actually, met a couple of fans, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I want to show you guys what I picked up. I didn't pick up as much stuff 
Well, yeah, I didn't pick up as much stuff as I did last time at my last show, but I did get a couple of baits that you guys will probably want to see. So first of all, something I didn't buy at the Sportsman Show, I actually ordered online with a buddy of mine that I met at the show. We ordered uh, a bunch of custom chatter baits from a guy on Facebook. Um, half our order came in, so I met up with him to uh, pick up half my order. I'll show you guys these chatter baits in a second, but these are all half ounce. They all have a swim bait head. Uh, they're all wire tied, I believe. Yeah, all wire tied, and these ones all have copper blades to them. So first of all, we got this natural craw color right here. Uh, I actually caught my PB largemouth bass on a croc color like this, so I'm pretty excited to use this uh, nice color right there. Next up, uh, I actually don't think I ordered this, maybe an extra one he put in, or one of my buddy's uh, chatterbaits, I'm not quite sure. This is a watermelon purple flake color right here, you guys can see. And then we got one of the colors I'm really excited to use, a green pumpkin with blue, you guys can see right there. And the last one, I'm going to take out of the package for you guys. But this is a nice perch, uh, natural uh, craw with some purple in it. Not purple, with orange in it, um, as you guys can see right there. Skirts nice, flares out a little bit. Got a nice stout hook on there, as you guys can see. Hopefully it's focused. And you guys can see the swim jig head right there, which is pretty nice. So I'm really excited to use these um, again. Hopefully, catch another PB on a chatterbait, but we will see. So the first booth I went to is actually Perfect Jigs. You guys know that I bought a lot of my jigs from them. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They're just a Canadian company, uh, Ontario company. Actually, I like to support. I like their jigs. So I picked up a couple things from them. First off, I picked up four, no, three finesse jigs from them. All one fourth ounce. Um, again, the colors aren't 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 on here, but uh, the first jig right here is black with purple. You can see right there. Pretty nice color. This would be a good colorway for late summer, early fall in my area when the crawfish start to turn like a black with blue and purple tints to them. So that should be that should work very, very well for some smallmouth or some pressured uh, waters. Next up, we got uh, two of the same color, actually. These are both in like a craw color, craw, natural craw color, as you guys can see right there. A little lighter pattern. But next up, as you guys know, I really like their perfect uh, Jig Elite Jig Mini. I picked up one more. This is in half ounce, and this is like in a brim natural natural sunfish or bluegill color. You guys can see right there. It's a little bit lighter colorway, but uh, these have mustad hooks. They have rattles, and they have a chunk lock on them. So it's pretty cool. Canadian made, handmade, all that stuff, which is pretty awesome. And then the last thing I picked up, I actually took out of the package already because I wanted to see them. These are the Perfect Jig Punch Skirts. These are brand new for the show. This is the packaging right here. Brand new for the show that they had. See right there. Um, living Skirts. It's a pretty cool design. I'll actually show you guys. I took them out of the package already. You guys can see right there what they look like. So this is a green pumpkin with some purple um, accents to it, purple flakes and purple crawls on there. But you guys can, let my camera focus on the uh, rubber. You guys can see the rubber right there, which is pretty neat in my opinion. I haven't seen anything like this. I've never thrown a uh, punch skirts before in my life, so I can't wait to try them out. So after I went to Perfect Jigs, I went to Pro J Tackle and I went there for one reason and one reason only. For this Dual Realis Spin Bait 90, I've heard amazing things about these baits. I'm trying to get into spin bait fishing this year as well, so I'm picking up a couple of different brands, a little bit more of a variety. But I've heard great things about these, so I can't wait to try them out. I'm gonna have to buy some lighter line. I'm probably gonna buy some six pound line to throw on these guys but I cannot wait to use them. I've been looking for them for a little bit for over a month now I think. Um, I know a couple of stores around me have them. I just didn't really want to drive there. I was here. I saw them so I picked one up but um, I can't wait to try this guy out. And the last thing I picked up were these uh, Fanatic Weights right here is actually a company that I met over Instagram. Um, I was asking them questions about fishing in Europe because I'm actually going to Europe this summer and I'll be fishing there. I'll be there for three weeks. These guys are based out of the Ukraine, which is pretty close to where I'm going. I'm going to Poland. Um, so I picked up a couple of their weights that they had. Um, the guy showed me how to rig and all that stuff, some tips. He gave me some tips about 
these redfin perch right here, which I'll be going after in Poland. Um, I'll be going after these redfin perch, I'll be going after carp, and I'll be going after pike, which I'm pretty excited about. But these are 10 grams, and you just rig them like a uh, standard jig head. You have a little hook at the end, at the rig up right here, and then you'll just uh, fish them like a swim bait or like a grub. So I'm pretty excited about those. These are also work pretty well for smallmouth, in my opinion. A little more finesse technique, so I can't wait to try these out. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun at this show. I met a lot of new people, networked a little bit. Got a bunch of new stuff coming up for you guys. The Cuba videos will start coming out after this video, so stay tuned for that. I'll be editing them tomorrow. I uh, got a lot of footage to go through, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.